How much Christmas is too much Christmas? Here are five times people Christmased maybe a little too hard. First, check out that tree. Yes, Virginia, there's a Christmas tree somewhere under those 300 wrapped presents. You can't even see your tree. No. British mom Emma Tapping posted a photo of her tree on social media, and it got her some grief. One commenter called her materialistic. Another comment read, just remember, there are a lot of children who won't get much. The picture even earned the hashtag, too many presents. Emma spoke to Inside Edition's Les Trent. How many gifts do each of your children get? The, the girls have got about 85 each. 85 each? Yeah, and my son's got about 30. That's a lot. Emma said she's constantly on the hunt for good deals. Still, her holiday haul cost around two grand. Inside Edition went shopping with Emma on a New York City visit. She found Legos at a 40% discount. Emma told Inside Edition she'd continue the tradition. I wouldn't let anybody tell me how to spend my Christmas with my children. And this woman in St. Louis loves Christmas so much, she has a year-round shrine to the holiday. Heather Shane decks every inch of her basement with Christmas decorations. So, we have the hutch here. The hutch is where my favorite items go, or most of my favorite items. You see this little Rudolph right here? He is one of my faves. Her favorite kind of tchotchke? Mugs. Lots and lots of mugs. Heather scours flea markets throughout the year to grow her collection. She started her holiday hobby in 2015 and has spent at least 10 grand on it. Her husband Daniel doesn't look super thrilled by it. But to Heather, it's an investment in wonder, getting to celebrate the holiday season regardless of the date. This family also gets sentimental about their Christmas decorations. They've been using the same tree for over three decades. They last a long time, <laughs> you know, at least 34 years. <laughs> the Scotch Pine was just two feet tall when Joe and Gina Mistretta bought it in 1983. To put things into perspective, this was the big movie that year. Return of the Jedi. At the end of the holiday season that year, the Mistretas didn't want to throw away the tree, so they kept it, and they've been using it ever since. How do you keep a Christmas tree healthy for over 30 years? Three things, right? Uh, food, water, and then you have to repot it. The Tannenbaum doesn't have that traditional cone shape because Joe has to keep trimming it. Once you cut the top of it, it won't grow high anymore. It grows wide. And then if you don't do anything, it's just going to grow wider and wider and wider. But Gina and Joe don't mind. When you have a tree like this, you can't think perfect. You just have to think tradition and sentiment. And what would the holidays be without ginormous light displays? This extravaganza in New Jersey was built by a family as part of a fundraising effort for their local food bank. We have over 135,000 lights being controlled by 50 computers. Not all their neighbors were happy with the show. We've shortened the display times and we keep the noise levels down. That's the jingle bell line. And this singing plastic reindeer in Manhattan didn't get a lot of love. It's noise pollution. Attorney Nick Wilder sued the homeowner. Result? She turned off the music. Do you want to hear 16 hours of Jingle Bells in a row? No. Take note, all you aspiring Clark Griswolds. <laughs> a little bit of Christmas can go a long way. This is InsideEdition.com.